Now, let's take a look at a typical application setup. Here, we use Microchip's ENC28J60 Ethernet controller to add Ethernet functionality to an application. Note that the 28-pin ENC28J60 interfaces to an MCU using the standard SPI bus. The Ethernet controller, being a network peripheral, needs a unique MAC address to help identify it. This MAC address needs to be obtained from the IEEE and then programmed into the PIC. This is expensive and time consuming as we've already seen. The easier alternative is to buy a MAC address chip from Microchip and set it up as shown using the SPI interface on the 25AA02E48 MAC address chip. You're set up and ready to go using just one extra chip select pin on the MCU. This plug and play device also comes with additional WEPROM capability to help you store configuration settings or lookup tables or buffer small amounts of data. These chips are available in SPI, I2C, and the Unio bus to offer designers the flexibility to select the bus that best fits into their application. As we can see, there is no need to obtain and pre program the MCU with a MAC address. Just drop in the MAC address chip, and you no longer need to worry about MAC addresses for your application. No IEEE and no volume restriction. It really is just that simple. Also note that the actual EUI48 node address is stored in the last six bytes of the memory array, with the most significant bit in the lowest memory address or the big endian convention.